Hi, Sandy here. I'm on vacation from work this week. Just a stay home vacation. So I've been trying to spend more time in my craft room. Um, today, I'm going to make some tags and borders. Um, I got caught up with scrapbooking about three years ago. And so between photo orders, when I don't have any scrapbooking to do, I started using up all of my scraps and little bits and pieces and I make tags and borders and then it, it has changed my style in scrapbooking because I can make such fast pages with my tags and borders and I have hundreds of them I'll show you um, so this is one of my tags just a sample of how I use them I only do eight and a half by eleven pages that's what I've been doing since I started eighteen years ago and I like it I'm, I'm not going to change um, so this is one of my tags that I have made uh, for my cat and I make them for Christmas, um, holidays, my pets, subjects, you know, whatever and I just keep them sorted and organized so that I can find what I'm looking for and to, today I'm making everyday ones but so this is one of my tags and all I did was um, I had to crop this picture a little to get it on there but I put up, laid out my pictures um, I laid, used some uh, scrapbook paper right here and then put a tag on it and it's done and then um, here's one of my borders um, and this is a great way to use up all of your scraps and, and extra little bits and pieces that have been around for a while and, and I like to use up tiny little scraps just use a little bit hanging off the edge and I do that with both ta my tags and my borders and these are just little bits that I didn't know what I was going to do with them but I used them and so th there's my cat this is another layout I, I do this layout all the time and for some reason I like my border on this side so I usually make them with a straight edge on this side and then stuff hanging off the side on this side overlap the pictures a little bit so that's how I do it <coughs> and so here's my stash first off this is my tag book not the Christmas and, and, and themed ones my everyday ones and I've got these tags here and I usually keep them since I sort my stuff by color, I usually make keep keep them all one color. Not always. But this is my pink section and my orange section, and I just go through here and flip through when I'm doing a page and just pull one out. I just use a little just a little bit of glue on the back so I can tear it off and, and use it when I'm ready. So that's my tags. And these are my borders same thing I sort them by color there's some blue borders and purple and red I get three on a page and I keep three sheet protectors of each color in here and so that holds 18 of each color but even though my book is full I just filled it up <laughs> I keep on making them because they're just little works of art in themselves and my extra borders I keep in here my borders and tags again sorted by color here's some yellow ones and and I just filled my books today I went through here and so I keep them in here nice and safe so I've got extra <laughs> but never enough <laughs> never enough and I use these to, to refill my books so, I save cereal boxes. I'm not saving them now because I have plenty. Um, and I, I have this tag pattern that I just made out of a piece of an old calendar. And I use my paper trimmer and I cut cardboard into these tags just rectangle and then I use my pattern to snip the corners so and 
this is my favorite size this is my favorite but um a lot of times and I do make this smaller size too but a lot of times your scraps you end up with a lot of odd shapes and I'm trying to avoid making a lot of odd shapes but I get, get them all, all sizes sometimes so these are what I call my raw tags and then I also keep some um, vellum paper in here I got this at a garage sale or thrift shop and I hardly ever use that but I've got it if I don't want it then I've got all this I found somewhere and um, they're the exact size of a photo so I can't use them for photo mats so I try to use that for stuff anyway so then I've got this box which is my um, I call them photo base uh, tag tag bases and I go, go through my scraps sometimes and um, here's some pink ones and I glue my strap my scraps onto these onto these um, tags and some of them just a solid color actually that was a scrap and I cut it into a tag shape and just various designs and most of it is going to get covered up as I make my tags so these are my tag bases and I've got them in every color they're sorted by color here and then I also have these that I don't even know where they came from <laughs> I'll leave those natural or I could do decorate them and I've got little small ones so there's my tag bases and then um, these are my border bases now um, I save I save my scraps like everybody these are all of my scraps And I put them in these just gallon size Ziploc bags and I have these tabs on them. This one's green. The colors here. And I sort them by color. And I did, this is a, a bin from Dollar Tree. And I did have to put a piece of cardboard here in each bag because they were starting to really droop. But that's my, my scraps. But... whenever I have these long strips which I have a lot of because since I only do eight and a half by eleven sheets I cut down my twelve by twelve paper and then I end up with these scraps a lot this size and then a lot this size and so then I sort those by color in this front section here so I've got all these assorted things and sometimes I buy stuff and I just put those in there these are for decorating borders so that's my my loose stuff and then I, I have I love doing Victorian glue books and stuff and I have a bunch of old Victorian calendar pages not from the 1800s but they're reproduction from the 90s they're collages and I save all of these long scraps in here and I do use these for borders too so then when this part gets starts getting really full then I go through and like here I pulled the yellow and I cut just scrap paper into this size I think it's two and three quarter that's my favorite size and um, I mean these are actually 11 inches because I only do the 11 inch but you would do them 12 inch and I just glue strips of paper on here here's some glitter paper and these are my tag bases my border bases and most of them, if they get covered up they're just for background they get covered up when I glue a lot of stuff on them so that's my border bases and then I have um, my little teeny tiny scraps and I actually tear a lot of them down to about one inch square or whatever because here's one of my tags and I like to have little pieces of paper hanging off the side it just I think it just makes it more interesting so I, I do use these I, I, I use them 
So I've got those to make my tags. And then I've got this box. I've got the, everything sorted by color. And e each color, I've got um, this with some sequins. Well, there, um, there's little paper flowers and felt. I have a lot of these felt stickers from when my daughter was. Foam stickers. Just little things to decorate my pages and then then I have green buttons and then green silk flowers and each color I've got the three envelopes of each color and then I've got these these rhinestones and I keep this in here because sometimes I might want to dump it out and, and dig through and see what I've got then I've got these smaller strips that are not long enough to make a border with and I use those um, horizontally across a page to fill in some space so and I, I like to put all this stuff on my tags and borders and then um, I've got this collection of things that I can use for subjects Th these are good little tag or embellishment subjects some flowers um, just things I can use for a subject you got to have a subject um, so I've got those. And then I've got these that I can use for a subject and decorate stuff around them. And then these are our um, journaling cards. I don't do I don't do Project Life, but I like these cards and I buy a lot of them. And I, I make tags with these. Tags and borders with those. So you got you, you got to have a subject to start out with. And then um, a couple more things to show you. I try to, or I organize all of my stuff in, in books. Like this. And like, this is my birthday section here and I've got my dog and cat books my holiday books and I keep everything together except for the scrapbook paper in in these books and then then if I want a birthday everything I have for birthday is right here and then um, wedding I have here but some things I just never go to because I just don't think about it. This is where I keep all of my food and kitchen stuff. Um, and I just don't really think about going to, the, to this section very much. We don't have picnics very often. We don't take pictures of, our, of, of us cooking very often. Um, these are good for a summer day. I don't do a lot of summer pictures. But I do have this right here. I'm going to take this out. Uh, my book is bulging <laughs> I gotta get that closed but this is all tea stuff and it's been here being ignored so today I'm gonna try to make a lot of tea things add tea stuff to my tags and borders and use some of this stuff up so and then I also have this book I do a lot of glue books which are like journals um, I'll show you a glue book page real quick this is my, one of my glue books and people make them in, in magazines and old books and you just cover the pages with um, things and Victorian is my favorite favorite subject but I do make other kinds too so that's a glue book um, just gluing stuff on a page and that's a lot of fun so um, I have this whole book of Victorian stuff that I have collected and I've got things like this which I printed off Pinterest and these are great for subjects for, for tags and borders. So I, I'll be using some of these and these would go, work, look really good with tea stuff. So now I've shown you everything and I'm going to put together a bunch of stuff and glue the tags together. So I hope I haven't bored you too much and I'll be back when I'll have some things ready to glue together.
Okay, I'm back. It took me about 45 minutes to gather up some stuff for my tags and borders, and then I went about my day. It's It's been several hours since I started this video. Um, so this is all of my tea stuff I have left, and I'm going to put that with my um, glue book stuff, and I'll use that stuff up on my glue books. So I'll get that out of the way. Um, so I'm going to start with this one. This is a sticker and I already put it on there. So I like my little pieces of paper hanging off the edge, just my little cork. Okay. Now this I cut out of a magazine. I'm going to put that on here. Now these are stickers. I bought this from um, um, Scrapbooking for Less. Uh, it was $2.50 and their chipboard and uh, their stickers and they're basically uh, Mary Poppins theme. There's Mary Poppins and her bag and and a spoonful of sugar and her parasol. Not sure what I'm going to do with the Mary Poppins stuff but I'll get it used up and I'm going to use a glue dot on these to re reinforce them. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my pink stuff, see what I can add to the rhinestone flower. that's all it needs and always the final step punch a hole so there's one tag done then I've got this here's a um, pre-made tag I'm gonna glue on my little edges I have a whole lot of these. They came with a kit. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, I, I use them like this. This is part of a postage stamp from something I printed where I could cut stuff out. Not a real postage stamp, but a page of printed postage stamps. So, let that hang off. This is um, a Graphic 45 series thing from uh, Scrapbooking for Less. It came on a 12 by 12 sheet and that's what I ended up with after I cut, cut them apart. And I like to put my stuff at an angle just the way I like to do it. And I got this sticker that says full of memories. Put that. I don't really want it straight. There we go. Here's a little teapot. that right there and then let's see let me get my blue stuff see what I've got I can add to it to make it a little more perky yes I just reach in and grab any old thing here's a here's a flower These paper flowers, I get them from Hobby Lobby. And if you're not careful, the glue dot will just pull the back right off of the paper flower, the peel a layer of paper off, and then and, and it's not going to stick. All right, I'm going to put that right here. And 
this is just I think I got this from um Dollar Tree uh, there was a sheet of them I'm gonna put that right here and then I can if I want to write something on it my scrapbook page when I use it I can oh that's a stiff that's a thick piece of cardboard there okay moving on let me put my glue back and I'm probably going to need it again okay there's another ready made tag pre-made tag and then I've got this this is really nice and I rounded the corners with my corner rounder so I'll start by adding my little hangy doos <laughs> this one's just blah not much of a pattern on it so we want to put that kind of lower okay now put that on this says you are pretty sweet And I got this spoon to get stuff out of the jar with. Why not? There. And I think I will add a small silk flower. And then I'm going to need a rhinestone for a center. I need to get my glue dot. I think I need to buy some more medium sized glue dots. Maybe I got some stash somewhere. I'll have to look for that. Okay. There's three done already. Okay, this one. This is my ready my pre-made tag base and it's got some lace paper and it's some old newsprint and so I'm gonna glue my little edges on. I always seem to have the edges hanging off on this side, although I have had them hanging off on the other side. This is actually a sticker and a piece of glitter paper. I think I'll put that like that. Okay, then got this this girl that I printed from Pinterest. I'm going with a black and white theme on this. Okay, so put that there. And then, um, I don't remember exactly how I had this. We'll get it figured out though. So we got a teapot. cup of tea this is a little sticker it's it's steam coming up by the teapot the cup of tea the page of stickers this came off was actually for coffee I don't drink coffee so 
I wouldn't be using that for much. Can't imagine myself using that. Okay, so if it's kind of a tea party, we've got, oh, uh, let's see, sugar and spice and everything nice, it says. And then we've got a purse. And hat. I wonder how that would look on her. No. Kind of ruins. That's a nice little piece of. Nice little drawing of her. Nice artwork. So I'm not going to mess that up. Okay, there's the hat. And then these are very tiny couple of tiny little hearts they came with the teapots okay now I got this sticker here with some black on it so I'm going to add that right there what the heck why not okay I don't have much in black, but let's see what I've got. Maybe mm, a button. I've got a button. With a large glue dot. Okay, how about something white? Oh, I got these. These are nice. Completely forgot I had those. Okay, good glue dot. I'll add a smaller solid black one too. Uh. All right, I'm going to call that done. I think I will do a border now. Going for a lot of vintage stuff today to go with my tea. Okay. So I'm starting out with this border that I made. It's got newsprint and and. Uh, butterflies so where's my glue stick right there <laughs> I'm having that off the side If I make use of something instead of throwing it away, it, it makes me happy. So I love using up these little bits and pieces. Okay. Then I've got this. This is a sticker. I'm going to put that up here. Not too high. So full of love. And then this is a sticker. Put it right there, let it hang off a little bit. And I've got this butterfly. It's kind of a foamy 3D butterfly. Okay, and then I've got this sticker. It's kind of two layers on there. I'm going to put that right there. Then I've got this lady. This is a Tim Holtz lady. I'll put her here and then my little 
little teapot. And my little cup. This is a little heart. Looks kind of like steam coming out of. See, it's got this little whips, wisp of steam coming off, off of it. Then another tiny little heart. I'll put that right there. Oh, come on. It's sticking to my finger. And here's a very, look at how tiny that is. A very tiny little flower. If I can get it off of my finger. There we, uh, come on. There we go. And then a little tea party hat. She's wearing, the lady's wearing a hat, so we'll add a hat. What the heck, why not? I'll put it right there. Just for no reason. Okay, let's look for some pink embellishments again. I'll add a couple of buttons. I'll add a button there. this stuff a butterfly this one's got some adhesive on it I'll put it right there there's a button So this is kind of a craft with me video. Just do your crafting and <laughs> and you can listen to me jabber. Alright, that's done. That's a pretty border. Okay, then I've got this one. This is just solid. Well, not it's solid. It's This is actually a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, and this, if you imagine it, this could look like steam out of a, off a teacup. <laughs> So, start with my little edges. This piece of paper reminds me of something I got from Miss Elizabeth brand that they used to have at Dollar Tree. Oh, oh man, probably more than 10 years ago. Uh, and it, I think it's just a scrap that I've had laying around for, for that long. Um, okay. And then I've got this that says remember. This is actually a, pun a stamp that I have. And I, I stamped this with pink ink. So I'm going to put that here. Then I've got this. I printed a page of these from Pinterest. Different ladies. And I'm going to put that here. Then I've got this. It's actually a coffee mug. Got, and it's got glitter on it. It looks like coffee grounds there. Um, I don't think this is a sticker. Let me see if I can peel something off the back. I don't think it is a sticker. But I'm not sure. No, that's not a sticker. So I'll glue the back. Get all the way to the edges. Okay, so that goes here. Oh, got to get it a little bit lower because I'm covering up my words to remember. And I covered up my R. So I'm going to take my pink 
bright pink marker and go over the words remember brighten that up some looks fine to me and what the heck while I'm at it I'm gonna just do a little dotted line all the way around the edge all right and then this is a tea bag and I want that right here And you know what? I'm going to. Well, if this is my last pink one. I'm to get my pink embellishments out again. Here's a, a flower button. I'm going to put it right there. Oh, it's covering up the roses. Well, no, too bad. Too late. And those look purple. And then when I put them with the purple, they'll look pink. That's how that goes. I think I'll just dot a couple of rhinestones on here just for no reason that's good doesn't take much okay so there's another one done I think I had made up 12 tags and five six six borders okay here's another tag this is actually a Kleenex box and then I've got, oh, well, I got my little edges. Just random. Okay, and then I've got, oh, let's see, I got this flower. It's a sticker. I'm going to put that all right up there. And then this is a, a, years ago I had a catalog with all these, these figurines you can order. And I cut, cut out all these pretty ladies. So trying to get those used up so I'm going to put her right there and then this you know what this 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 is I think off of a Kleenex too and it's kind of thick so I'm gonna sometimes I do this I, I peel it apart to make it not so thick yeah that helps Sometimes it doesn't work out very well and <laughs> it gets damaged. Uh, and sometimes it works out pretty well. Alright, so. And then this I know is a sticker. So I use my razor blade to get the backing off. Yeah, that went well. It's pretty sticky. And this says, Good Morning Sunshine. And then, blue. Here's my bag of blue stuff. Oh, let's, here's a flower. And then I see I have this little thing. This is this came with this set. It matches. And this is a sticker, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
and I'm going to I'm going to reinforce re since this is heavy cardstock I'm going to reinforce it with a glue dot and I will put that here and that one's done this says good morning sunshine it's got it's actually got a, a pitcher and bowl with a teacup that's not a teapot but it's it's cute all right since I got my blue stuff out I'm gonna do this next so there's my border I'm starting with and then glue down my scraps And you can barely see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this says T. It's like stamped all over in all directions. It says T. Uh, it's just a little, little scrap. So let that hang off the side. And then this. Oh, I do. <laughs> This goes to something. There's a little rose sticker that I had pulled for something. I'm going to just go ahead and put it right here. There. So this is from um, some scrapbook paper. There was things I cut off and then I rounded the edge. So I chose something blue to go on this blue page. This is also, I think this is Graphic 45, this strip right here. Um, cut from a 12 by 12 page of, of things. Sweet iris bulbs. So I'll put that right there. And then I've got this, it's a bird, says hello. Also cut out from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Got a little glue on the front. And I'm going to tilt it this way. I can overlap that a little bit. And then this, this is a little fairy. Um, this was something you could order out of a catalog. A little fairy stirring her tea or hot chocolate and she's got a cookie there. And I, I uh, glued it onto a piece of cardstock, used cardstock, and, and cut around it. So it's got a little white border around it. And that keeps it from getting torn so easily also. I could have used that as an embellishment by itself somewhere, but I've had it quite a while and it hasn't gotten used. Isn't that cute? Okay, now i got another one of those tea bags. Try to keep a wet, damp washcloth here, but it's pretty dry. Okay, I'm going to glue up my tea bag and put that right here cute and then here's a bird sticker and I want that it doesn't feel very sticky to me I'll put that if I don't want it hanging off the page much because I'm afraid it'll get torn it's pretty thin okay oh and this tiny little flower fell off of one of my other stickers and I overlooked it I'm just gonna put it on right there looks fine to me okay so what can I add There's That's kind of a blue rhinestone. It's kind of thick though. I don't really like using things that thick because it leaves a bump on my scrapbook page. Oh, I have a lot of these. Yeah, I'll put that on there. 
Usually I, I look into my blue stickers and add stuff, but I just didn't do it this time. Well, I did a, a little bit, but not, not much. Just to use up some stickers. Oh, this is hard to stick on there. Because of my sticky fingers. All right. What else? I've got this blue shiny dot. I'll put it right there. And let's add a flower. I think I got some of these at Dollar Tree. And I usually get them at... at um, Hobby Lobby, so I was excited to find those at a great price. Okay. I think I'll call that good. As long as we're working on blue, let's do all the blue ones because I got my blue stuff out. So this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. Glue my little edges on it. I'm using up a lot of these little little squares that I got from somewhere. I don't remember where. Okay, I'll put this on here. And this right here. Okay, then I've got this. Um, what are you going to do with it? Just... <laughs> use it somewhere so I'm going to use it here this is from a 12 by 12 paper that I cut apart is that where I wanted that? yeah I think so maybe a little bit higher then I've got this lady here um, it's a mannequin dressed in Victorian clothing uh, and it's out of a magazine and I'm going to put her right there then I got my tea cup sticker We're going to put that right here. Got some steam coming out of it right here. We'll get that off of the sticker back. I just could, can't live without my little razor blade. And, and it's dull. I would even go so far as to take it outside and, and rub it back and forth on a sidewalk to dull it because you don't want to cut yourself you know all right hot tea and then I got a little tea bag here just a tiny little tea bag um I'm gonna put that over here and I'm gonna take my black marker and draw a little string on it with a little tab there. That's cute. Okay. Now it needs a little, little, little bit of decoration. And I spy a flower button. Can't put it there because I gotta punch it. I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah, that'll work. Overlapping, that's the key. Um, and it takes, when I first started doing stuff and overlapping, I was like, oh, I don't want to cover up some good stuff. But that makes it a lot more interesting when you do that. Let's see. Got another one of these shiny things from the Dollar Tree. I'll put that right here. What My little area with my little stuff sticking out that's a good place to just add a little button or just a little embellishment to make it kind of like a little cluster this is my little 
It's a little, uh, it's not really a paint can, but it's it's just a novelty paint can. And I, I keep that on my desk for my sticker backs. Um, and I'm big on recycling, but that's not pa paper, so you don't throw that in your recycling. Okay. So we'll punch that. Another tag done. And then uh, this is blue. I'm going to do a border now. I like blue and yellow together. So here's just some strips of paper glued onto a scrap. And then this is from uh, um, one of those sheets I cut apart. Hold on a second. Alex, I hear I hear Rosie howling. Will you go let her in? I can hear my dog howling. <laughs> She's a big old mix. Oh, ooh, I gotta get I gotta get my little little scraps on there. And I usually put them in about the middle, but they can be higher or lower or whatever. And I like to mix and match, but sometimes you gotta you gotta kind of think it through a little bit because these are dark blues, so um, I don't didn't really want other shades of blue. Well, not other shades, but I wanted to, to use a lot of other blues on there, darker blues. Okay, so here's a. This I printed from Pinterest. I think I'll put this butterfly up there in the corner. Oh no, I don't want it there. I'm going to put it right there. And then I've got this that says remember. I think it's a little bit bigger than I want, but it's a nice oval shape. Uh, if I trim it down, I'll mess it up, so I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, and this, this I used my, um, I have a, what's it called, one of the first, Sizzix, Sizzix, I have, a friend of mine gave me a Sizzix, and a whole seven, seven racks of dyes for it, <laughs> just gave it to me, um, and this is an old and original, and, and I like it. I, I don't even want one of those computer things with the mats and, and complications. I don't want that. But I cut that out with my Sizzix. Okay. So let's see what we can add on this. There's a heart. It's not quite as thick as those round ones as this. This is this is very thick. I'll put that on there with a the glue dot. I haven't made any uh, tags and borders for a while. It's nice to get back to it. see a little blue flower I'm going to add that on to and I'm going to call that done and then this is 
kind of blue and green. So I think this came with on the back of um, stickers. Uh, sticker pack? I could be wrong. It's nice paper. So I cut a tag shape out of it. Okay, so I'll get my little edges on. I think I might need to go wash my hands pretty soon. Here's another one of those tea things. And then I got this plate. It goes with with this kit. But I like to mix and match. Just use things up. So I'm going to put that right there. And then here's this lady. I printed that from Pinterest. If only ink weren't so expensive, man, I'd be printing these like a five by seven and stuff to use on my glue pages. And sometimes I do. No, just one or two here and there, but that takes a lot of ink. Okay. Then I've got this. This is a I don't even, I, th I think that's from a calendar. It's very tiny. It's a little tiny tea set. I don't know if the camera focused on that. I'm going to put that right there. And then, uh, let's see. I've got a little, little teacup. I'm going to let that overlap a little bit. And then a little teapot. Put that right there like it's pouring the tea. And then this says, sweet, sweet warm fills my heart. As in sweet warm tea. Put that right there. And we need some decorations. I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of this and I haven't decided where it's going to go but it's going to go. It's going to go on there. I think right there. You got to do that overlapping thing you know. And then one of these right there. I need something here. I don't know what. How about a blue button? I usually use a lot more buttons. Oh. Alright, there's my buttons. I'm noticing that these are kind of a bright aqua, so I'm going to go continue with that and put that right there. And I think that's going to be, well, no, I'm going to put two buttons there together. Kind of cluster two buttons together. Then it's going to be done. And I have two more borders and four more tags to do. And just you're just hanging out with me. I'm keeping you company while you're crafting. Because I think this video is going to be over an hour long. And a lot of my view subscribers like that. Okay. So I'm going to put the blue stuff back. And now this one's kind of fun. So this is um it's got chair fabric, chair print on it. Or a little chair. So I'm gonna glue my little scraps on every time. This is gonna be black and white. Then I 
got this, this embellishment that says happy. I'm going to put that right there. And then, this is one of my Tim Holtz guys. He's going to be having tea. I don't often make them with men. So he's sitting on the chair even though he doesn't really fit on the chair. And then, while I covered up my chairs, but they're in the background, I'm putting this teapot on this chair. And then, a cup of tea on his knee right there. So he's got his tea balanced on his knee. And I even have a little cookie. And we're going to put that right there kind of on his hand. And then this one also says, Sweet Warmth Fills My Heart. Okay, I'm going to look for some white buttons. I know I've got some. Here we go. I'll add a couple of white buttons to this. This one's kind of large. Nice and vintagey. put it right there and another button and we'll call it done punch a hole in it okay this one is purple um, that's a sticker So, glue down the scraps. I gotta turn my glue mat around because this corner is getting all covered in glue. I need a clean edge to get finished up here. And this is, um, oh, I did a video. My daughter and I took a bunch of, um, just, um, printing paper printer paper out to the garage and we took our watercolors and we colored paper just for fun okay this is an ad out of a magazine and um, it's a tea set it might be miniature for, for all I know but it's it's got purple on it and I cut it out and put it on a piece of scrap paper to give a little more strength and ha leave it with a white border around it. So I'm finally going to use it. I've had this for a while and I'm going to let it hang off the bottom a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I messed up. I got this again out of a catalog where you can order these figurines for these pretty ladies. So I'm using another one of those up. Yes. That's, that's my goal is to use things up. So I wanted her to go behind here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, she goes over here. Okay. And then, this is a sticker. I'm going to go ahead and glue it to reinforce it. This is a Dollar Tree sticker. I'm going to let the flower stem go ahead and overlap that. There. Isn't that nice? So, let's see what I got in purple. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, lots of purple stuff. Here's a purple heart. It's actually a sticker. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty sticky. Oh boy, it's sticky. We're going to put it right there. And what else? I'm going to put this right there. And I think I'll call it good. Two more tags and one more border. I'll get that last. No, two more borders. I'm going to do this one. This one was kind of fun. If I can remember where things go. So this is one of my border bases. And I got glitter paper here. And it's kind of a vintage theme. I hope that's not loose. Yes, it is. Oh, darn it. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off. And stick it down again. So, oh, I got to put my scraps on the edge. So I cut this rag doll out of a magazine. Isn't she cute? She's a little old lady walking her dog. So she's going to go right there. Let her hang off the edge a little bit. And she's not going to stick very good to this glitter paper. But once once she's in the scrapbook, she'll be held in place. Well, she is kind of sticking a little bit. But she'll be held in place with by the page protector. And then I got this. This is a pretty vintage looking flower that I cut out of somewhere. And I want that right down here. And then I got my tea set. I'm going to put that up here. Here's a tea, bat, a tea cup. And I've got a tea bag. And a cookie. And then this is a sticker. It says enjoy. Get the back off of that. And I cut stickers off of pages and and put them in my books with my other embellishments. And then I can sort them in places where I want them to be. And that work, works pretty well for me. Okay, so I got this heart. I'm going to put that right there. And then I have a key. Not sure where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to get it on there someplace. It's, uh, it'll go right there. So that's done. Isn't that fun? Okay. So this is going to be my last border, and then I got two more tags. I hope I don't run out of uh, space on my on my camera. SD card. If I do, it will be an abrupt ending to this video. But I think we're going to make it. I hope. I don't know why I think we're going to make it, but I think we will. Okay, this I printed from Pinterest. And then I got a little piece of glitter paper. Another dead <laughs> glue stick. 
and this is part of an old ticket a printed out ticket not a real ticket put that right there and then this is a little little um, tea party on a little tea pot and cup cup on a table with some flowers so I'm going to use that like a little scrap and put that right here and then I've got this sticker that says time for tea Ooh. so I wanted that here and then this, this teapot is going to have to go right there add a little bit of I think I'll add some glue right there to help that stick there and then this is a sticker some flowers I'm going to put that right there and then I got this little heart with like steam coming off of it I'm going to put that right there on the okay I got purple things out I got another purple sticker so I'm going to get out some green embellishments and see what I've got I think I'm going to add a couple of buttons just make it simple so there's a button and there's a button a little trio of buttons and we'll call it good Blue dots. This one had a shank on the back and I had to cut it off so it's not sitting really flat but it's pretty so that okay all of my borders are done there's six borders I'm gonna do this one next one of my pre-made tags I'll get my little scraps glued up these are very odd shapes hanging off the edge but that's that's fine just makes it more interesting and this is just a very odd scrap put that on there okay then I've got this lady this was off of a scrapbook paper I cut them out there were several ladies on there so we'll put her down low kind of uh, about in the middle yeah then I've got this teacup sometimes stickers stick a little too good okay put that there let it overlap a little bit then I got a little bit of steam coming out of the cup I got this little teapot that I you know what I think that is a sticker I think it's I think it is a sticker but I cut that out of somewhere okay so the teapot's gonna go here I'll let that hang off the edge slightly and then this says good times put that right there and this says tea party I'm going to put that down there. And what have I got to put on here? I just 
I'm just going to put this on here. Punch a hole. And the last tag. Now this came out of a book of tags that I bought that I purchased and it's it's a nice shape to it. So I'll glue my little edges on. We're gonna go with black and white gray on this one. Okay, then I've got this lady here. Cut that out of a magazine. I'll put my little teapot right there. A little cup right there. Um, I've got a purse. I'm going to just overlap these, this edge. And a hat. I got the words tea party. these uh, clear I need a smaller one anyway I got these you'll see it when I get it out of the bag I want a middle size oh, okay so I need a glue dot and I'm going to put it right there and it's done and I've got all of them done. So, let's take a look at what we've got done. Oh, I found something. What do I got here? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Oh. I must have missed the glue on this button because it just fell off. Okay, there's glue on it now. So we got this border and this border on this border. We got our ladies. Got lady borders. And then we've got this border and this border. I guess I do have five borders and not six. So those, those are my borders and then we've got these tags so there's four and these tags that makes eight And these tags that makes 12 so I got a lot done and I'm, I'm really glad I used up a lot of my teapot stuff because it would have just sat there for years if I didn't make an effort to just go right in there and, and use it up so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon subscribe to my channel please bye